Now I understand that on Channel 4 last night they interviewed her because they, I don't know how they got a copy of this, but they had a copy of it. And she said she stands by the statement that she made about the bridge incident. Well, I thought That's the that I lived in America until shortly after Katrina and the Crescent City connection was blocked off uh, from people uh, being able to walk freely on United States soil. Very disheartening, um, unacceptable. I hope that the lawsuit is successful for all of those involved. Um, there's no question that the officials there were wrong absolutely wrong and they need to be reprimanded accordingly. It was unjust, it was inhumane and unacceptable. When Karen Carter was interviewed on Channel 4 last night, she said she stands by that statement. And I'm telling you, it may very well be for a New Orleans representative to stand by the statement, but the people of Gretna and the people of Jefferson Parish do not share her sentiments. They think that we are heroes for what we did. And there was no there was no racial overtones whatsoever, and I resent the fact. Uh, but my whole life is dedicated to this country. For this woman to get up there and question my loyalty or or, or or my humanitarian. For those of you who were here, remember August September second was a very hot day. All of these people who come across, where were they going? Can, can anybody to this day? I mean, it's 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 a year fifty. Where were these people going? There was only one place in Jefferson Parish they could possibly have been gone, and that was they're going to try to make their way on foot to I-10 and Causeway. Do you know how far it is from the top of the bridge to I-10 and Causeway? 22 miles. Were they, were they, were they intending to walk 22 miles to I-10 and Causeway? Because let me tell you something, Arthur Lawson, the Gretna Police Department, and Harry Lee, the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, were not going to let those people walk to our neighborhood. And if that sounds inhumane, it is what it is. We had a duty to protect our people. Our people who were able to sexually evacuate left their homes unprotected. It was my responsibility and my deputy responsibility and not the lost responsibility and the Gretna Police Department to protect those homes. Before the DVD started, you, you were talking about uh, the way um, Representative Carter has characterized you and other uh, Jefferson Parish officials. As racist. That, that we didn't keep up, just kept the black people out. And that, that's what her intent was, and that's, that's why I'm so incensed. And that's why this whole time from the, from the first primary, I finally decided on Thursday of last week that I just can't sit by Ali Mo and just let her get away with that. And like I'm saying, uh, Stephanie Grace and her comment this morning suggested that, that if Jefferson wins, that who's going to win bragging rights be a naked? I don't want any bragging rights for getting Jefferson elected. But I'll take full credit for beating Karen Carter, and I hope it comes to that way. And I ask the people of Jefferson Pass to join with me and just say no to Karen Carter. If it's not like I'm pissed off, man, I'm pissed off. Who the hell, who the hell appointed her to be the great reprimand? Who's going to reprimand us? The people of Jefferson Pass, the people of Gretna, think Arthur Lawson and I are heroes, and the Gretna Police Department. Yet this woman from New Orleans, is gonna, and now she wants to represent Jefferson Parish? Is she out of her mind or am I crazy? She says that she hopes the people of New Orleans get a money judgment from the people of Jefferson Parish. And she said that the officials of Jefferson Parish <coughs> were wrong, absolutely wrong, we need to be reprimanded. Who, who should reprimand us besides Karen Carter? Is she the great reprimander? Sure, have you met with Karen Carter at all yet? No, I have no intention of meeting with her. Why would you not meet with her, at least to hear her side of the story, get a response from her personally? Did she meet with me before she read a fat mouth on this commercial, on this statement? Did she ask me or Arthur Lawson what went on? No, she wanted to get on that intelligence and run a fat mouth about, about how bad and how racist we are. Should I resent that? Sheriff, if I can ask a question about the mailer. Did the money for it come out of your campaign? Came out of our campaign fund. There's, my, my question is, does, would this be constituted as an independent expenditure because there are two other people running in a race? And so, should you have found an ind independent expenditure committee under FEC rules? I'm, go I'm going to do whatever, whatever it takes to do it. I've, I've checked my lawyer. Uh, he, he checked the, the federal campaign record. We will file a report that that's what it came from. I've done this before in federal election use campaign, but it was never questioned before. Do you have a question about it? 
Well, no, I just don't know because I, I, the way I'm reading, and I, I called our, our attorneys on this, if you're going to do a mailer specifically in another race that you're not in, typically if you've already maxed out on candidates in the race, the, um, the question becomes you have to form an independent expenditure committee. It can't come out of your campaign funds. That's what we're reading. If that's so, are you... Are, are you then I'll pay for it out of my pocket. I, I, I'll, I'll get people who, who, who think the way I do to, to help you with it. If not, I'll pay, I'll pay for it myself. How, how much did the mailers cost? Uh, $14,000. And they're being sent to every... Jefferson. I'm sorry? They're being sent to every Jefferson Parish uh, registered voter. Uh, they're being sent to chronic voters in Jefferson Parish only. Let me ask you this. In the primary, you endorsed, endorsed Troy Carter. Today, yes. you've taken great... What's that? You endorsed Troy Carter in the primary. Today, you made it very clear that this is in opposition to Karen Carter and not in endorsement of Bill Jefferson. So based on those two things, why are you not just fully backing Bill Jefferson? And now you're kind of downplaying the investigation question where the indictment is. I'm, if all those things I'm are not, true, I'm then why not, not fully I'm not endorse Bill Jefferson? I'm not downplaying the investigation. As a citizen, I, I'm incensed at the fact that Bill Jefferson has to run into this club where he's not, he's not been charged. Why have you not endorsed Jefferson? I, I'm not endorsing Jefferson. No, he's well, why not? Why should I endorse Jefferson? I don't care who gets to the Congress. I just don't want Kerry Carter getting there. And, if, and, and, and as, as you pointed out, if <coughs> Kerry Carter defeated, Jefferson will be the Congress. So everybody, everybody's worried about sending the wrong message. Man, let me tell you something. This is the wrong message. She, she tells the world with a bunch of yahoos we are in Jefferson Parish. And now she wants to represent us? And then we're going to give up credibility? So what, you, so what are you telling voters to do? What's that? What are you asking voters to do on, on Saturday? I'm telling you, I'm asking them not to vote for Karen Carter. Are you saying to vote for Bill Jefferson? I did not say that. Did I say that anywhere? Or are you saying not to vote? Not really. I'm, saying, I'm saying don't vote for Karen Carter. I'm not saying vote for Jefferson. There's nothing in this mail that says vote for Jefferson. You see no affidavit from me supporting Jefferson. I'm just saying don't vote for Karen Carter. So you're she is not Jefferson Parish's friend. So, sir, are you voting for Jefferson? What's that? Are you voting for Jefferson? I don't, I'm not even in the district. 